Hey guys, welcome to another installment of Gardening 101. This video is going to be Planting 101, so how to plant both seeds and a seedling. In order to plant, what we're going to need is a watering can, some gardening gloves, a trowel, and either our seeds or our plants. First of all, I'm going to start with the plants, which are some onions, and I'm going to be putting them in right in this small garden. I'm going to start off by digging a small trench. Since these are onions, I want to get them in at a decent depth so that the bulb has uh, room to expand and grow in. So now I'm going to pour some water in this trench. The reason why I'm watering it before I put the plants in are two reasons. First of all, it will provide some water right away to the roots with, so that as soon as I put them in the roots can start uh, establishing themselves. Second of all, the water will uh, displace any oxygen that is in mixed in with the soil. This is important because you don't want oxygen touching the roots. It's just not good for them. So the water will help to displace any oxygen. When it comes to planting uh, seedlings, sometimes if those seedlings have been uh, in the same pot, uh, the roots can become tangled together. So what you want to do is you want to try and detangle them as best you can, but um, try your best not to break any of the roots if you can, since the roots are of course important for the growth of a plant and so any breakage will inhibit that growth. Unfortunately, these onions are just so close together that I'm going to have to rip them a bit, rip the roots a bit, so hopefully that won't cause too much damage. I'm placing them a, dis a decent distance away so that the bulbs will have a chance to form. And these are called copra onions, which are some onions that are very good storage onions, meaning that you can, if you store them in a cool, dark place, that they'll last uh, quite a long time into the fall and winter. Now that I am done placing these uh, onions, I will take the surrounding soil and I'll pack it in around the bulb. So when packing the soil, it is important to squish a little bit with your fingers since um, you also want to get rid of as much oxygen as you can. Although the water, putting the water in it did help, packing it in will just be a little extra measure to try and keep that oxygen from getting near the root. So there's my row of onions completed. Now if it was a little shadier, I would probably give it a little bit of water, but because it's still quite sunny, I don't want to get water on the leaves. When you get water on the leaves, the sun can actually end up burning those, those leaves uh, because of the magnifying effect of the water. Now it's time for my arugula seeds. First thing you want to do whenever you're planting seeds is find some way to mark where they are. Um, otherwise, uh, when you're weeding, you might accidentally upset the seeds or the, the uh, infant seedlings. So I had done a video of uh, myself planting the row of arugula seeds, but 
unfortunately I forgot to turn the microphone on so luckily I do have some extra seat arugula seats and so I'm going to do this smaller row um, next to the bigger row that I had already seated as you can see I've already dug a trench and I'm not going to be putting any water in this one as the seeds do not have roots and therefore it doesn't really matter if there is oxygen in the soil So now I'm going to pack the soil over the seeds and uh, and then I'll give it uh, some water so that the seeds will be able to germinate because in order to germinate seeds need to be in a warm and moist environment. completes the planting 101 video. Uh, I hope that you learned something and uh, if you did please like, subscribe and share with anybody you think this might be helpful to. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Happy planting!